I made this tutorial to demonstrate how to use the servo motors with Arduino platform. There are lots of servo motor models. This tutorial is valid for most servo motors which has a 180 degrees of a rotating angle. Today I will use this commonly used SG90 model servo motor for the demonstration. I will simply explain everything for you. Before going to the tutorial, please subscribe my channel and click the bell icon to get the notifications about similar videos like this. First, I will briefly explain about this servo motor. It has some plastic gears inside it and you can see it through its housing. It has three separate wires as a connector. You will get all these components with the servo motor package. These white pieces are called servo horns and you can select a matching one for your project. I will select this one and connect it with the servo motor like this. And you can use this small screw to hold it in the place like this. Other two screws can be used to mount the servo motor in a desired place like this. For this simple project, we will need only three things. They are any types of a Arduino board, a servo motor and three male to male jumper wires. Now let's connect the servo motor with the Arduino board. First, I will connect the brown servo wire with the ground pin of Arduino. Then, I will connect the red wire of servo motor with the 5V pin of Arduino. Finally, I will connect the orange wire of servo motor with the 8 pin of Arduino. Please remember that this is the signal pin of servo motor. So all connections will look like this. Let's connect the Arduino board with computer. Now I will open the Arduino IDE. Let's go to the files, examples, servo, sweep. Now you will see a basic servo motor code. In here it has included the servo motor library which already comes with the Arduino IDE. Therefore, you don't need to install the servo library separately. In here, it has created a servo object to control the servo motor. This POS named variable has used to store the position of servo motor. Inside the setup function, it has declared the IO pin of Arduino which has connected with the servo. Because I have connected the signal wire of servo motor with pin 8 of Arduino, I will put 8 in here. Now it comes to the loop function which runs again and again. This first for loop is used to turn the servo motor from 0 degrees to 180 degrees. And this next for loop is used to turn the servo motor from 180 degrees to 0 degrees. But don't worry if you can't understand this for loop section. I will teach you how to turn the servo motor into the desired angle easily than this. But before that, let's upload this example to the Arduino and see how it works. I will select the board type and the correct port first. And then click the upload button. Now the code will upload to the Arduino board after compiling. Now code has uploaded then let's look at the servo motor. As we see it turns from 0 degrees to 180 degrees first and returns back to 0 degrees again. Now let's see how to turn the servo motor into the desired angle in a simplest way. For that we will not need these two for loops. And I will remove this POS variable also. Now let's say I want to turn the servo into 0 degrees. 
I will write that command like this my servo dot write zero. This value inside the parentheses is the desired angle. Now I will put a two seconds of delay. Then again I am rotating the servo into ninety degrees. Again I will put a two seconds of delay. And I will rotate the servo into one eighty degrees. Again I will put a two seconds of delay. Now let's upload the code to the Arduino board and see the behavior of servo. After uploading the code, you can see that the servo motor is rotating according to our program. It has a two seconds of delay between two turns. This cycle continues until the Arduino board is getting power. In this way, you can turn the servo motor into a desired angle. at any place of your own code we can use these servo motors for many useful applications if you want any support for your projects please contact me through the whatsapp number provided in the video description please note that i am providing that personal support as a paid service if you have any issues with this tutorial please comment it in the comment section Don't forget to subscribe the channel. Let's meet from another video soon. Thank you for watching.